Well, hello again. It is adverb time for English. We are going to be talking and sharing adverbs. Adverbs describe verbs and answer the questions how, when, or where. They often end in ly and common negatives for adverbs, not, never, nowhere, rarely. Okay, so you're going to have to get up, stand up, and I'm going to give um, a phrase and then you need to pantomime it or act it out. It's kind of like charades, but but we all, I know what it, you're doing and you're gonna show me what you're doing and I wish I could see you. We'd be having so much fun in class right now. Um, so I hope you're having fun with this. So you're gonna be walking, but our first sample of walking is can you walk slowly? Are you doing it? Are you walking slowly? Okay, what about loudly not too loudly if you've got someone still asleep at your house don't be walking too loudly you know what I'm saying but if you can go ahead and walk loudly yeah that one is good okay that's probably enough your parents are wondering what you're doing okay can you walk quickly without getting hurt or hurting anything else can you try walked quickly okay now I gotta be super careful on this one can you walk clumsily? Do you know what that means, clumsily? Kind of like falling down, but please don't fall down. And whatever you do, no blood, right? That was, that was a fun one. Can you walk quietly now? And our last one, can you walk or you walked gracefully? Okay, walk gracefully back to your chairs. And uh, I'm gonna give you a sentence. And uh, I want you to be able to tell me um, what the sentence is about and what's it going to do. Okay. Our sentence sentence is the tornado. The tornado moved quickly. Okay. So. Looking at this sentence, sorry, there's more cat hair around here. Go figure. Um, this sentence tells us about the tornado, right? And is it answering how it moved, when it moved, or where it moved? What is the sentence, the tornado moved quickly, answering for us? The adverb is helping us to tell that it went how. Yeah, how is it moving? Quickly, good, okay. How about this sentence? It came yesterday. Okay, and it is referring back to the tornado. So it came yesterday. What is our adverb telling us about our verb? Remember, it's gonna answer either how, when, or where. Yes, when. It answers when it happened. Okay. And this was how. And our last sentence, the tornado traveled northward. I don't have my dilly here right now taping me, so I'm hoping that, or videoing me, excuse me, so old school. Um, hopefully you're being able to see this. If not, um, Hopefully you're listening and it can help you just as much. Okay, so our sentence now is the tornado traveled northward. Okay, yikes, that got kind of squishy. Okay, the tornado traveled northward. Okay, so if we look at it, the tornado is our subject, traveled is its verb, but northward is describing what? How it went, when it went, or where it went. Yeah, where. It went northward, so it went that way. Is that way north in your house? It's in my house. Um, okay, so now we are going to underline the adverb, I believe. No, we're gonna do something else on your paper, so I won't do that. Um, Remember when you were just walking just a minute ago? 
How were you walking? What was the first thing we did? Slowly, very good. And the next one, loudly if you could. The third one, you started quickly. Then you went to clumsily, quietly, and gracefully. So those, you demonstrated those adverbs for us. So, if you do not have page 235 in front of you right now, please pause this video and get page 235. Okay, on top of the page, adverbs. Hurricane, it has a sentence. Hurricanes without moisture quickly weaken. So we have our subject, our verb, and our adverb. We're going to diagram. So here's our subject, our verb, and then our adverb. You don't have to write adverb, I'm just helping us remember, is going to come off of here because it's describing the verb. Okay, so our sentence up there, it says hurricanes without moisture, which is our prepositional phrase, so we're not going to do anything with that part, but it quickly weakens. Okay, so which one is our subject? Yeah, hurricanes. And we need to capitalize it because it's the beginning of the sentence. And what did it do? It weakened. And then we have quickly. Is quickly telling us how, when, or where? How it went, right? It went quickly. So we will diagram it off of our verb weaken because our adverb is describing our verb. Very good. Okay. When we see our sentence, they want us to um, underline our adverb and point it towards our verb. So in this sentence, if they wanted us to, I'm leaving out the prepositional phrase right now, um, quickly weakens. So what they want us to do is underline underline our verb, right? Huh, they do it two different ways. That was silly people. Okay, and then quickly it's going to show that. I think in the assignment though they want us to do that other way around, so I'll do it that way then. Okay, so then let's look at guided practice. Do you see guided practice? Put your finger on it. Everybody find it? Okay, so do you see that box to the right? It says northward, there, slowly, again, correctly and yesterday. So those are um, some adverbs for us. And we're gonna decide, is it describing how the verb is doing it, where, or when? So let's look, how is number one. Which two of those would help describe how it happened? Slowly, yep, that would be a how. And what's the other way? Correctly. Yeah, how would you do it? You would do it correctly. Okay, number two is where? So looking at your box again, which adverbs tell us where? There, like it's over there? Yeah, that would tell us where it is. And the other one is like, the one we just did on the other page. Northward, yeah. Super duper. And our last one, when. And so which two are left? That would be when. When was it? It was again. When was it? It was yesterday. Okay. So there we have guided practice, um, the first part. Now the next part, let's read the directions together. Underline the adverb in each sentence. Draw an arrow to the verb the adverb describes. So our first sentence, number four, hurricane researchers research 
researchers. Phew, got it out nervously. Uh, did you see an L-Y in that? That might be a good clue what it is. Gathered storm data. Okay, so as a reminder, it's one is to underline the adverb. And yeah, did you catch the L-Y? That adverbs can usually do that. So nervously. So our subject is researchers researchers and they nervously were doing what yeah we're going to point it over here to gathered in your perfect world it's all on the same line my handwriting not so much so nervously is the adverb that's telling us um that they gathered it how are they and that would be a how how are they doing it they were nervously doing it super number five hurricanes frequently produce inland tornadoes. Okay, so let's get that written. Well, you just get to watch me write it. You don't have to, huh? Frequently produce, and they're producing what? Inland I almost thought it said tomatoes. It's tornadoes. Tomatoes wouldn't make sense, would it? But tornadoes do. Okay, O-E-S, there we go. So hurricanes is our subject. And what are they doing? The hurricane, the hurricane, hurricanes produce. And inland, oh, I almost thought it was in. Sorry, ignore me. <laughs> One of those days, huh? Um, and how are they doing it? Where are they doing it? Or when are they doing it? Yeah, see I didn't follow directions either guys. Sorry, frequently produce. I did the first way we did it and I confused myself. I'm so human today, go figure, huh? So, hurricaning, hurricanes are producing and how are they doing it? Or when are they doing it? They're doing it frequently. That could fit a couple of things, huh? Okay, and our last one, number six, we're going to diagram, so let's get that sentence. Yeah. You see our math from last week? Still recycling paper. Okay, so hurricanes rapidly move tropical heat. So hurricanes rapidly move tropical heat. Okay, so we need to label it before we can diagram it. Okay, so what is our subject? Yeah, we got some hurricanes. And what are they doing? They're moving and that's an action, so we're just gonna put a V. And then tropical heat, heat is a DO, because a DO comes after a verb. So, let's go ahead and put these in line so far. We have hurricanes, capital H, it's the beginning of a sentence. And they are moving, so we have our verb here. And then we have our D up, do you remember what that is? Yeah, half straight up and downy perpendicular line. And we'll put heat here. Okay, so let's look at our verb, move. Um, what is describing how it's moving? Yeah, rapidly. So we're going to put rapidly coming off our verb. Okay, and then they threw a little of last time when we were working with adjectives. Tropical describes our heat. So what, this one's the adjective that we learned the last time we were together, and the adverb, adverb, is with our verb. Okay, so that is our lesson today with adverbs. We are going to do uh, side 236 today, doing what we just did, but for your independent practice. We are going to save worksheet 76, I believe that's in your packet, and we're gonna save that for tomorrow.
If you have questions, please bring them to our live section session this afternoon at 1.30, and we'll get to them after math. So great to see you guys again. Have a great morning, and I'll see you in a little bit.